By now, you probably know quite a bit about variables, but do you want to learn how to perform mathematical operations with that? Hello everyone, Mozart here, and today we are going to be learning more about variables. In this video, we are going to learn how to perform mathematical operations such as addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division using commands in Minecraft. But before you watch this video, check to make sure that you've watched both the first and second videos in this series, as this is the third video in a series of tutorials on variables. If you haven't, click the eye in the corner to go to the first, or go to the description to choose any video you would like. Did you watch those videos? Well then, let's go straight into this one. To be able to show off operations, I am going to add six variables, red, yellow, green, cyan, blue, and magenta, and assign to those variables the values you see on screen. And these values will change as operations are performed. There are nine different operations to choose from, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, modulus, equals, less than, greater than, and swap. Using this command, we are going to set the value of red equal to the value of yellow. Note that the variable that is being changed is always the first to be typed into the command. And now, subtraction. Using this command, I'm going to subtract the value of yellow, which is 8, from the value of blue, which is 20. This will return 12. And for addition, which I forgot to record, it's pretty self-explanatory, it will add the value of one variable to another variable, basically the opposite of subtraction. And now, for multiplication, this command will multiply the value of cyan by the value of magenta, giving cyan a value of 6,400. And now for division, this one's a bit more complex, but to start, we're gonna divide green by blue. 44 divided by 12 is three. Hmm, well, rounds down to three. You see, because variables do not support decimals, it will round it down, so this operation is technically floor division which means it rounds down. Floor division does not mean rounding to the nearest whole number. And now, on to the modulus operation. And many of you may be saying, Hey, Mozart, that's not a real operation. Well, it's an operation mainly used for computing, and what it does is return the remainder after dividing two numbers. When magenta, which is 100, is divided by green, which is 3, you get 33 with a remainder of 1. And so magenta is set to the remainder 1. When using the modulo operator, if it divides evenly, the variable is set to zero. And I know some of you curious individuals out there will want to know what happens when you try to divide by zero. So I'll show you. If you use a division or modulo operator and the second variable is equal to zero, then the operation fails, saying that you cannot divide by zero. And now let us move to the greater than and less than signs. These ones are not quite as intuitive, in fact, they're very similar to the equal sign. The only difference, less than will only change a variable if it's going to be set to a lesser value, and greater than will only change a variable if it's going to be set to a greater value. In this example, with yellow and cyan, the value of cyan is not less than the value of yellow, so the value of yellow stays the same. However, if we use greater than instead, the value of cyan is greater than the value of yellow, and so the value of yellow is replaced with the value of cyan, which is 800. And now the last operation, swap. Being the only operation capable of changing both variables in the same command, the swap operation interchanges the values of two variables. In most cases for this operation, the order in which you place the variables on the command does not matter, as it'll lead to the same end result. However, when you switch the first and second variable in the command, the result shown in chat will be the opposite variable. And this does often matter when you are dealing with commands such as execute store. But that is a command for another video. And now, before the video is over, here are a few pointers. You may have noticed that for every operation except for swap, the initial variable's value is lost. If you do not want to lose this, then create a new variable and call it whatever you'd like, for example, original value, and set that variable to the value of the variable that's about to be changed. Then when you change the variable and for some reason make a mistake, you can restore the variable's value by setting it to the original value variable. And remember, every time you use division, it'll round it down. Even if you think it might round up, it'll round down. And never, ever, ever divide by zero. And now you know how to apply mathematical operations to variables. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, comment your favorite part of the video, and check out other videos on the Mozart Minecraft YouTube channel. And until next time, Goodbye!
Obsidian Volcano.